Welcome to another episode of Quick Tricks for the MC101. In this video, I'll explore using the MC101 sequencer to create a generative pattern by chopping up a long sample and using note probability. This video is using version 1.7 of the firmware. This is the sample I'll be working with. I've set track 1 to be a drum track. I then load the same sound into multiple pads. To load a sample into pad 1, press the value knob. Then scroll to WAV file, browse to find a sample, and then load the sample into the pad. Then press pad 2, and repeat loading in the samples. Here I've loaded up 8 pads with the same sample. To stop all of the pads overlapping each other, I'll set them all to the same mute group. In note mode, press shift and pad and go to pad edit. Change all the pads mute groups to mute group 1. You can now hear that each pad cuts each other off. I can then edit the start and end time of each pad. To do this, whilst in note mode, press shift and pad 1. Scroll to the sample edit page and then change the start and end time of each pad to effectively chop up the sample. You may need to do some quick maths to work out the start and end point for each pad. Note, this method will not work if you copy and paste the pad with the sample into multiple slots. You have to load the sample from scratch into each pad. If you copy and paste the pad, like I've done here, in slots 8, 9 and 10, any changes you make to the sample start and end time will change all of the copied pads at the same time. In my sequencer, I can then use the probability function to create some generative patterns. First, I'll add a note into the sequencer. You can hear it always plays when I loop it. If I press shift and pad whilst in sequencer mode, I can edit that step. The mute setting determines the probability that the step will be muted. Zero means that the probability of a mute is zero. In other words, the step will never be muted and will always play. As I raise up the probability, the step will begin to play less. Here, there's a 50-50 chance that the step will be muted. Using the probability settings, I can add different notes to the sequencer and choose a different probability of each note being played. This will create a generative sequence. You can see the notes which are orange have a higher probability of being muted. I like to mix up some notes which will always play so that the listener has something to latch onto and then add probability for other notes to get some variety. Here is a random generative sequence that is only one bar long.
if you want to watch a really in-depth tutorial on generative music on the MC101, watch Ben Coe's video on Ben Coe Music. That's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Remember to check out my other videos for more quick tricks. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to T-Break Beats for more videos like this one.